This is a video demonstrating how to use the Magvita TMS therapy system. The Magvita TMS therapy is indicated for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adult patients who have failed to receive satisfactory improvement from prior antidepressant medication in the current episode. The Magvita TMS therapy system consists of a magnetic stimulator type R30 or X100. The stimulator is an all-in-one standalone solution with a built-in display for easy user interface. The stimulator is mounted on a trolley along with the system's isolation transformer, vacuum pump, and cooler unit. The isolation transformer provides power for all components in the system, including the stimulator, chair, cooler, and pump. The treatment chair is a fully adjustable chair designed for the comfort of the patient. In combination with the vacuum pillow, it ensures a stable positioning of the patient's head during the treatment. Mounted to the trolley or chair is an articulated stainless steel arm for easy and flexible positioning of the stimulation coil. The three articulations are released and fixed by a single central control knob, allowing the user to fix the coil in place by tightening a single mechanism. The user also has the option to mount the arm on the backrest of the treatment chair or to a table or wall using special mounting kit. The system comes with two different coils, one for the motor threshold determination and one for the actual repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation procedure. Connect the cooling hoses if these have been unplugged and check that the cooler is turned on. Place the handle of the cool B65 coil in the holder on the flex arm. Tighten the knob to hold the coil securely. Please be aware of the contraindications for Magvita TMS therapy. Contraindications include implanted electronic devices and or conductive objects in or near the head and non-removable metallic objects within 12 inches corresponding to 30 centimeters of the coil. Patients having implanted devices that are activated or controlled in any way by physiological signals and or ferromagnetic or other magnetic sensitive metals implanted in their head must not receive Magvita TMS therapy. Examples are cochlear implants, implanted electrodes, stimulators, aneurysm clips or coils, stents, and bullet fragments. Failure to follow these restrictions could result in serious injury or death. To identify if a patient has one or more of the above listed contraindications or if any of the other precautions listed in the user guide apply, a standard questionnaire is recommended. Please see the safety information in the user guide for an example. Please read the user guide for a comprehensive explanation of the safety guidelines. Before initiation of any TMS treatment, the correct stimulation intensity for the procedure needs to be established. The stimulation intensity of the therapeutic procedure is based on each patient's individual sensitivity, also known as the patient's motor threshold. With the Magvita TMS therapy system, the MT is measured by observance of a visible muscle twitch of the right thumb after stimulation of the motor hotspot for the intrinsic hand muscles in the motor area on the left hemisphere in 5 out of 10 stimulations. The lowest possible stimulation intensity needed to get a visible twitch of the thumb represents the patient's motor threshold value. Because the motor threshold in any given individual has been shown to be state-dependent and variable, the Magvita TMS therapy protocol specifies that the motor threshold value must be determined every two weeks during the six-week course of treatment. In order to begin a motor threshold determination procedure, turn on the MagPro and attach the CB60 coil. Ensure that the marking plate is attached. For the motor threshold determination procedure, one will need a treatment cap for the patient, earplugs, a marking pen, and measuring tape. For patients who are anxious about the procedure, applying a few stimulations to the forearm may be helpful to get the patient familiar with the stimulation. To start, write the patient's ID on the cap and place it on the patient's head with the central seam aligned to the midline. 
Be sure the cap fits the patient's head snugly. To find the area of the scalp above the motor cortex, first identify the location of nasian and inian. The nasian is the intersection of the frontal bone and two nasal bones of the skull. It is the deepest depression on the midline between the nose and forehead. Write the distance from the nasian to the edge of the cap on the cap. The inian is the most prominent projection of the occipital bone at the lower rear part of the skull. Measure the distance between the nasian and inian along the midline of the head. Locate the halfway point between these two landmarks and mark it on the cap. Next, measure the distance between the tragus of each ear. Be careful to have the imaginary line joining the tragi pass through the halfway point between the nasian and the inian. Find the halfway point between the tragi and mark this as the vertex. The motor cortex for the right thumb is located to the left and front of the vertex. Make a mark at the point on the left side of the patient's head, 5 cm lateral to the vertex along the imaginary line joining the tragi of the ears. Make a mark at the point along the midline 5 cm anterior to the vertex. Draw a dotted line between the two points. Along this line, the motor threshold spot for the right thumb is located. The optimal coil orientation for finding the motor threshold is achieved by keeping the coil at an angle of 45 degrees to the midline, with the center of the coil in contact with the scalp such that the plane of the surface of the coil is tangential to the curvature of the head. This orientation is obtained by keeping the straight edge of the marking plate parallel to the cap midline. Place the center of the coil at the midpoint of the dotted line and start searching for the motor threshold spot by delivering single stimulations while moving the coil in small increments along the line while continuously observing the thumb for a twitch. Start the stimulation at an intensity of 40 to 50 percent. If no response, gradually increase the intensity until a response is observed. A random interval between the single stimulations of between 6 to 9 seconds is recommended. Once the location of the most robust response is found, Incrementally lower the intensity to find the lowest possible value where a twitch is still observed in 5 out of 10 stimulations. The stimulation intensity value is the individual patient's motor threshold. While holding the coil firmly in place at this location, trace the contour along the front edge of the marking plate onto the treatment cap. This is to indicate where the treatment coil is to be placed. Record the motor threshold intensity shown on the MagPro in the patient's treatment records or on the side of the cap. Once the optimal motor threshold location and intensity are found, and the position for aligning the treatment coil has been marked on the cap, the motor threshold coil should be disconnected from the stimulator and replaced by the cool B65 treatment coil. Remember to also connect the small limo connector. Before the actual treatment starts, it is important to make sure the patient is comfortably seated with his or her head stabilized in a fixed position. Use the remote control connected to the chair to adjust the footrest, the seat, and backrest to recline the patient into a comfortable position. Make sure the vacuum pump is on and place the foot switch close to your foot. Make sure the valve is open. Fit the vacuum pillow around the patient's neck to give the most support possible. When the pillow is in a good position, depress the foot switch to elevate the air in the pillow, stiffening it in the chosen position. Close the valve. Before starting, check that the cap is still in its correct position by checking that the distance from the nasion to the edge of the cap hasn't changed. Also check that the midline is still centered on the head. Unlock the grip on the center joint of the flex arm to freely move the coil to the treatment spot. It is a good idea to make sure the arm in the lowest joint is placed in a vertical position which eases the operation of the coil. Align the coil on the treatment location by using the contoured line drawn on the cap. 
the center of the coil should be in good contact with the scalp. Make sure the coil is placed tangentially to the head. Once the patient is positioned and the treatment coil is placed in the correct location, the operator can start the RTMS treatment protocol. Magvita TMS therapy systems come loaded with FDA and CE-approved RTMS protocols as the default setting. Upon boot up, the stimulator loads the default protocol automatically. The user should double-check the settings to confirm that the default protocol has been loaded correctly. After verification, the operator navigates the software interface to the timing menu, enables the stimulator, sets the correct intensity, the intensity corresponding to 120% of motor threshold, and depresses the start button. Once the RTMS treatment session has been initiated, the graphic display in the lower left part of the timing menu is populated with information about the protocol. The total time and number of pulses in the protocol is shown, as well as a progress bar that indicates how much of the protocol has been delivered and how much remains before the protocol reaches completion. During the treatment, it is possible to pause the protocol and resume from the point of pause using the pause button. If the stimulator does not boot up with the default protocol loaded, one can either recall it or define it again. To recall a protocol that has previously been defined and stored, from the main menu, use the pulse wheel to select the protocol to recall. Depress the Recall Soft key. The recalled protocol is now loaded and information about the protocol is displayed in the Setup View window to the left of the display. To define a protocol manually, Confirm that the mode, current direction, and waveform are set to the correct values for the approved RTMS depression protocol. The stimulator should operate in standard mode with a normal current direction and with a biphasic waveform. Navigate to the timing page by depressing the timing button. On the timing page, set the actual protocol. Use the arrow buttons to navigate through the various data fields and use the pulse wheel to select the appropriate values. The timing control should be set to sequence and rest of the protocol settings are defined according to the user guide. Once the correct settings have been selected, one can enable the stimulator, set the correct intensity, which is 120% of the motor threshold value, and initiate a treatment session by depressing the start button. To save a protocol, first define the mode, waveform, and current direction on the main page, set the protocol parameters on the timing page, then navigate to the Configure menu using the Configure button. Navigate to the uppermost data field in the Configure menu and use the pulse wheel to choose one of the predefined headers for the protocol. Depress the Save button. The protocol is then saved under the chosen header and can be recalled from the main page by using the pulse wheel to select the protocol header from the different saved setups in the Setup data field. Recall the protocol by depressing the Recall button. The setup is thus loaded and the information for the protocol is populated in the Protocol Setup menu in the left side of the display. When the protocol has reached completion, Remove the coil from the patient's head by loosening the joints on the articulated flex arm and moving the coil away from the patient. Release the vacuum from the pillow by disconnecting the tube connecting it to its pump and opening the valve. Readjust the chair to allow the patient to get off of it without difficulty. When the patient returns for the subsequent sessions, make sure to accurately reposition the cap in the same position it was during the initial session, making sure that the distance from the nasion to the edge of the cap is same as noted down from the first session. 
make sure the cap is properly aligned with the midline. Once the cap is positioned correctly, prepare the patient for the treatment session. Place the treatment coil on the treatment location by using the contoured line marked on the cap, just as was done during the first session. Ensure the proper protocol is loaded, navigate to the timing menu, enable a stimulator, set the intensity to 120% of the patient's motor threshold value, and initiate the RTMS session by pressing Start. Thank you for watching. For further information, please turn to the user guide or contact MagVenture.